What is up guys and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to show you how to turn this still boring cube. We know it's a freaking 3D cube but it just rotates around. Let's turn it into a 3D cube that actually reflects lightning. So we'll add lightning in this video. First of all, what if uh, some this... of you watch these videos and you don't subscribe, please subscribe right now. I will not upload more videos before you guys subscribe. Well, uh, this is just going to be a short video. The lightning video is going to come after this one. So stay tuned. In this, uh, we've actually created the cube, as you can see right here. Let's just understand what we've created so far. We've created a scene, of course, a FreeJS scene. We've created a FreeJS camera. We have a renderer that actually displays the, the scene with a camera. And we've also set the renderer size and we just want it to be uh, whatever whatever the window is um, take the window uh, height and take the width and what does it say divided by two or something <coughs> sorry and then we want to append the renderer which has the uh, scene and the camera to the dom element which is the the document body right so you guys are with me so far now, then we also created a cube just to display something so we can actually see our changes. What we did with the cube is that we created, um, we established the geometry first of all. So it's just the, the dimensions are for the box geometry one by one by one. For the material, you can also add some skins and whatever. But for now, we just added a basic color for and for the basic, so display the basic color on this uh, one by one by one uh, geometry. We decided to just go with a mesh basic material. In the cons cube equals uh, and, and yeah, then you want to create your freaking uh, cube. So you want to add the geometry and the material together and create a mesh from that. After creating a mesh, then you want to display it. So add it to the scene because here you've just generated it, but you also want to add it to the scene so you can actually display it. Then we have a camera. We have set the position size. Sorry, the position. Uh, on the z-axis to 5 meters, 5 meters away. Let's just add it to 10 meters away and you will see it's uh, it's far away, right? Let's just keep it at 5. And we have the function animate, which takes uh, which takes the cube rotation. Uh, we can actually rotate our cube on the y and the x-axis uh, and it's just going to be multiplied by 0 0.01. Um, and then we want to request an um, animation frame animate which is the function which basically just tell the browser to that you want to animate something renderer the render takes the renderer in um, and just renders the scene on the camera so it keeps rendering and that is why we see the animation or that is how we see the animation now we want to change this mesh basic this mesh basic material Sorry, the, this mesh basic material into mesh fong material because the mesh fong material actually reflects light. Oh, it's not really affected by light, but it's uh, oh, sorry. This one is affected by light. That is basically what we've done, and it's going to be removed. But in the next video, I'm actually going to add lightning so we can actually see and reflect our box with the lightning. That is so freaking cool, man. So for now, just. <coughs> Sorry, just add a comment. Lightning. Guys, this is absolutely beautiful. Light lightning. Am I the only one who can really spell? Um I guess that's basically it. So we will see you in the next video. Light. Lightning. Is it really lightning? Or is it lighting? Is it, it is lightning? Lighting. That's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and comment down below. See you on the next one. Yes.